Okay. Hello, hello, and welcome to our final episode of the Reboot Artists, Musicians and Artists online series in collaboration with the National Arts Council of Namibia. Zeno, long time no see. Welcome, uh, Elise. Welcome, uh, viewers. Welcome, fans. Welcome to our club members, our uh, artists, everybody. I feel a feeling of nostalgia today. Yes. It's our last episode, our last and episode. I'm actually sad. Yeah, it's kind of but sad. But also excited. Yeah, but it was also a roller coaster to got here where we are today, and I am so glad that we did this. The responses have been so awesome, and you guys have really carried us through this series, and we are so thankful to each and every one of you today. But we still have some good things coming up in today's episode. Yes, we do. Ladies and gentlemen, just welcome to our seventh episode from uh, hosted by the Rio Worth Musicians and Artists Club in collaboration with the Namibian National Arts Council. Uh, they've really made it possible for us. Yes, This indeed. road down these past few weeks, seven weeks, it seems like a long time, but I'm actually so sad that it has to end yeah but this is not the end of the road that is not the end of the road yes because we still have a lot of exciting projects coming up this year Ladies and gentlemen, the first artist I'd like to introduce to you is none other than Mr. Roji, Roger Stein. Yay! This gentleman, he truly does it for me. Uh, I, I wish you've seen uh, the performance by Mr. Bomashia Green. Mr. Roger Stein is also a member of the Major Sevens Jazz Band. Like I've mentioned before in the previous episode, they've performed with the best of the best, and they are up there, if they're not better. And they are sons of Rioboth. Rochi was born in Rioboth. He sang with his brother and his friends in the New Image a cappella yeah. group yes, for lots of years until 2003, where I had the privilege of uh, touring with, with them. them yes. uh, we traveled, went to the south up to even Oranyamund, Elise, yeah. and we had the best of performances there, and the talent that this gentleman has. Today he's going to play the saxophone for us, and he's going to teach us a little bit about the finer art of using the saxophone as an artist. However, I have to mention this, Mr. Roger Stein has the deepest bass I've ever seen, <laughs> ever. He, he does. And he the, does. Uh, mind you, this gentleman yeah. can sing. He in, can sing, yes. He can even sing. As a solo artist. Yes, he can. He's a soprano as well. Yeah, and can I just add there, um, Roger, I invited him to do a song uh, with me on my uh, last uh, album, or before the last album. Yeah, and uh, we did a song together called uh, Rafira and Vestena, and I must say the performance there was top notch, just as Roger can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Hold on to your seats, sit back, relax, here's Roger Stein.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm Roger Stein. Um, and um, first of all, I would love to thank uh, the, the Ryuboth Musician and Artists Club, the RMA, for giving me this wonderful opportunity um, to come present my saxophone. Um, my journey starts a long way back when I was a, 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 a small boy uh, of the age of 15 years. I started uh, in, a, in, a, in a a cappella group, um, uh, the New Image, to, together with Willy Stein, Dino Peterson, um, Garth Luke, and Victor Isaacs. Uh, uh, we, we we achieved a lot of uh, um, uh, um, trophies uh, while we were busy uh, for about ten years, which one of them uh, one of the trophies uh, was was uh, um, at the Music Makers. Um, in um, I think it was 2007 in our category uh, we received uh, the first prize uh, um, for the a cappella group and um, in 2010 I started off with 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 with, with the saxophone um, I did one year at the School of Arts in Windhoek and my lecturer uh, was the late Mr. Jakes Krieger. In late 2010, we started as the major seventh jazz band, together with Bumusha Green, uh, Kali Karuhap, Weg Denk, uh, Gerald Bessinger, um, and Mr. Luri Koopman. So we entered uh, the, 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 the Old Mutual Jazz Festival as a band and um, so, so we was, we was of, the, of the five local groups for the first time. Uh, I think the band was, was at the age of two months old and uh, uh, we achieved that, uh, that uh, um, opportunity to, 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 to perform at the Old Mutual Jazz Festival which was a very huge success and uh, it's, it's also a, a big occasion because there was, there was uh, big names like uh, uh, um, Mr. Jimmy Gluglu. Uh, um, it's a very big uh, um, um, jazz musician, guitarist and vocalist. Um, from, from, from that on, the Major Sevens performed at local events and uh, um, that's how I grow. Uh, with 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 my saxophone, and uh, um, I form a big part of that group until now. So um, beyond playing the saxophone, I'm also a vocalist, um, and I enjoy what uh, I what what I what I'm doing. And uh, um, playing the saxophone is a big hobby. I, I call it a hobby because I can't I can't. Uh, um, introduce myself as a uh, uh, full-time musician or a part-time musician because it, it, took, it took at least three to four months before there's any performance or uh, b before I can perform at any place uh, and I would like to thank the Arts Council for this opportunity granted and uh, uh, we wish that we will hear from you guys soon uh, after this um, so that so that there's so there's uh, so that there's maybe s uh, s something bigger uh, bigger f uh, for us in store with you guys. Uh, the saxophone ain't that difficult to play. It's 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 a it's a it's a nice and smooth instrument. Uh, uh, once once you once you 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 get through all your scales. Um, it's a very nice instrument to play and, uh, um, and you really want to improve in, in everything that, that you do on the saxophone. Um, I don't have... Uh, nowadays, everybody uh, has an idol in the music industry and um, I don't think I, there's, there's, there's someone that I idolize. Um, I like a lot of them. Don Vino, Kenny G, uh, 
Hiram Koopman, that uh, Hiram Koopman, Don Vino, uh, um, they are local uh, in South Africa, but they are also, uh, um, uh, I think they are professional uh, um, musicians. Uh, abroad, Kenny G, Dave Kors, um, there's Mr. Kirk Whalem. I don't want to follow anybody. I listen to every, every player and I take from each one the part that I like and try to combine them to create my own style of playing my saxophone. Um, as the saxophone consists out of uh, a few uh, different parts, I'm going to show you guys now. Um, this is your mouthpiece. This is the mouthpiece which you need um, to get your sound from. This is your reed. This is the reed. This, is th this little guy is the one that producing the sound of the saxophone. Then you have your ligature strap which hold the, re uh, the reed uh, um, to the mouthpiece. You get different type of mouthpieces as well as different type of ligatures and the reed as well. Like I'm playing with a size three and a half now. Um, in the beginning stage you will, you will start with a size one reed and as your sound improve size one are very bright and uh, as your sound improve while playing your instrument you will upgrade to size uh, one and a half and your next step will be size two and and while you while you perform practice play um, you'll realize that the reed are too bright and you want to get a, 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 a thicker reed then so so that's that's where you are going uh, with uh, with the different sizes of reeds um, there's a there's a there's a there's also um, a, a technique which you need to use to 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 add your reed to your mouthpiece um, you must ma must make sure that 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 that, that it's it's fit in, in in a proper way like that and uh, then you'll add the the ligature just to complete your 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 your, your whole mouthpiece the mouthpiece uh, your the whole tone together with your mouth your ambrosia that's what they call it in in music language you have an ambrosia together with your with your mouthpiece that's where you get your different type of pitches because once you are done with 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 all your keys on your saxophone you you're going to use your mouth to pitch the, the 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 most highest note which you like to play and that's 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 a kind of that's that's kind of tricky then you have your neck your neck component um this is the this is the the, the part of the neck which you need to put inside your saxophone and all types of necks doesn't fit any type of saxophone so you need you need to use the the right one to get the real sound out of your instrument then you add your mouthpiece to your neck once if your mouthpiece isn't fit right um, inside the neck, you get a false tone. So you must make sure that, 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 that it's, it's added uh, at, the right, uh, um, at the right place of your saxophone to, get to, uh, to, 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 skip, to skip falseness in, in, uh, while, while playing. Then, then you add your, your, your neck to, this is your neck screws. Once if your neck is in the right position, you tighten the screw. So this is the body of the whole body of the saxophone. This part is your bell. This is your body part. This is the bell of, of your saxophone. Your neck, your mouthpiece. The saxophone have 25, uh, between 20 and 25 tone holes. Um, some of the saxophones, uh, straight from the, from the, from the uh, fabric, it have the higher F sharp key. But some of some of the saxophones doesn't have that higher F sharp key, and you need you need to you need to to, to do it um, in in your playing style with 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 with, with a different type of keys pr uh, pressing. Um, the saxophone uh, uh, consists out of uh, twelve major scales, and once you are done with with your major scales, you can play any but any song. So do make sure that, that, that you practice all 12 major scales. Um, the, 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 the major scales as your side palm keys, which, which, you, which you will, uh, 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 your, 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 your left, uh, right hand, 
will press this this keys here at the side and your left hand for the high notes on 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 this side then you have you also have your octave key your octave key give you the opportunity to say for instance if you go into a, a c major scale <laughs> That's middle C, where you're going to stop. Then you press your octave key. Your octave key gives you the opportunity to differentiate a bit down, uh, between your low and your high notes. Um, that's what the octave key do. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of the ins of, of of the saxophone for uh, for now. Uh, I think uh, hopefully there there will be a next part uh, where we can express ourselves um, um, in this musical journey and uh, to to teach the upcoming, the young and upcoming, um, which would like to 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 to. To play uh, any kind of instrument. Uh, this is your your next step, uh, just to give you comfort um, by keep and, and also to keep your your instruments uh, the saxophone steady. So this is an alto saxophone. Um, they also differ uh, in makes and models. You get different types of of makes and models. So uh, this is a Jupiter. And uh, it's semi-professional. It's not professional level yet. This is a semi-professional instrument, but you can get the most out of it. Um, you get the student levels uh, as well, uh, and then then uh, then uh, then you'll get uh, you'll get the the, the, the heavy uh, uh, high-profile instruments for, for which the professionals would like to p perform with, and um, we start about. Uh, with uh, with uh, hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars for 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 a, for a professional uh, uh, type of instrument, with the Jupiter uh, we start we start with 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 uh, with a student level as well, and then you get your intermediate, and then uh, uh, your semi-professional, and then you get your professional, and uh, with 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 uh, with with this one that's semi-professional we we started off with about thirty five thousand um, dollars, so so. There's, 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 there's uh, student level instruments, um, which is nice for a student because you're only going to practice on that instrument and then you can perform a little bit with it. But, but once, once you're getting through with, with your instrument, you'll realize that, uh, that you need to upgrade. And, 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 and once you upgrade with your instrument, you will also upgrade with your style of playing and, and the way you, you would like to perform. You get the, uh, the, the, the soprano saxophone as well, then you get the tenor, and you get your, uh, uh, the, the, excuse me, then you get your alto, and then you get the tenor and the baritone as well. And um, nice instruments to play, a lot of practice, because uh, 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 I can remember in the, in the beginning when I started off with the, with the, with the saxophone, I usually uh, used two hours of my day just to, to, to spend with my instrument, just on scales. And uh, I think uh, um, I, I, I practiced my scales for about four, between four and five, five months before I started playing uh, my first song. And uh, the first song I performed at, uh, at, uh, at, um, at the Sangan Sus Wat Ons Al Se, together with Zenotron and Wallistein, uh, I think Uncle Harold Kambrudi, uh, Elise Denklinger. Uh, at that night, I played Green Green Grass of Home. Uh, that was my first, first performance. And I think that song was bought twice that evening. Um, so that, give me, that gives me the courage because uh, that night I saw that people, uh, they really like what they hear or, or, or what they heard. Uh, so, so that night I get the uh, encouragement to go and uh, practice more and practice more and then I start up, started off in church and every time w once I was done playing I, I got my standing ovation 
So, so that gives me the encouragement just to go and practice more and practice more and practice more. And it landed me here today. Um, I think um, I don't want to blow my, uh, what shall I call it? But, but I think uh, um, there's people uh, looking forward to, to see me play and uh, people love my style. Um, and I really want to improve on that. And uh, I would really love to, 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 to teach this instrument to people who really want to be taught. Uh, so, so time will tell. Um, but uh, most and foremost, I would, I would love to thank uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ who, who blessed me with this talent. A wonderful ear to hear and, and, and my eyes to read music because I can read music as well. Um, and that's, that's the things that, that gives me the, the, the um, it, it gives me, it gives me the, the speed and, 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 uh, the controllability to, 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 to produce something on my, on my instrument. With this guys, I want to leave you and I want to thank you once again for the opportunity, uh, the RMA, uh, together with the Arts Council. Uh, I thank you guys for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys soon in the new near future. Thank you. Well, well, was that not very interesting? Guys, I'm telling you, Rebot has superb talent, and I know that you agree with me. Oh, wow, what, what, what am I saying to Azeno? Elise, <laughs> if people haven't been to Rebot, they won't know the gems that yes, are buried here. I agree with you. And our next artist is a truly, truly uh, amazing, talented talented gym that we have discovered and his name is Mr. Michael Bierkes but he has also been in the music industry, industry for quite a long time now and he is quite an accomplished songwriter as well as a solo musician and today uh, Mr. Michael Bierkes is also here to give us a little bit of something but before that let's hear it from Zeno about Michael. Elisa had the privilege of meeting this gentleman meeting this gentleman in um, Cash Crusaders, mind you. <laughs> and I, I can promise you, this guy can sell ice to an Eskimo. <laughs> and the next moment, I <laughs> met him with our club's uh, inauguration. Yes, yes. <laughs> All of a sudden, I see this guy taking the guitar, playing yeah. some strings there. And I have to tell you, yeah. every artist has his way yes, of, of uh, uh, expressing himself with, uh, with an instrument, with his vocals, yeah, everything. But true. this guy is top notch. Yeah. And I'm so glad that Michael is a part of our club. So here we go. Hold on for Michael Beakers. <laughs> Ah, 
ar clo Poate s-a fi zvărut Păim în leire Ne-i ni son să-l vierscă Rupă-n mar Ai să-l băi o stat Ești nu-i talie A fulgăt suor And I'm free. Yeah, we are one. You mop your grace. Through a few tears, the path is long. It's for you. I saw you know. Ik zal dit bij jou Goeiemiddag aan al die kijkers Kijkers van Reewoord en recht oor Namibia Ek is vanmiddag bevoorig om my bekend te stel as Michael Beekes Ek is deel van die arm uit klap in Reewoord En wat ek graag vanmiddag met u wil deel is Hoe my syk by my gekom het Wie al op die ouderdom van 14 het ek verlief geraak op die gitaar Baie van ons het ons natuurlijk maar in die kerk gebegin is So ek was bevoorig om die eerste keer een gitaar in die kerk te sien En om op te tel en beginne te speel En van daar vanaf het ek dit maar so aangegaan en so aan Ek sit ook vanmiddag as een artist hier wat myself geleer het om een gitaar te speel En om my eie songs te skryf en so aan en ons traai maar, maar ek wil graag hee ons dorp Reewoord moet trots wees op ons selfs hierdie lied wat u gaan hoor is a lied wat ek self geskryf het visies vir ons dorpse mense ons allemaal gaan dier moeilike tyd en dan hou ons maar die goed is a binne en dit help vir my om te sê ok, kom ek let go kom ek skryf a song en so aan en ek het nooit geweet dat ek ook die type talent het, so hierdie song het ek self geskryf ek moet ook baie dankie sê aan een goeie vriend van my, Devin Moller wat ook so te sê familie is, wat eindelijk familie is van my, dankie sê want hy het my geinspireer om te sê, luister kom ons neem die song op want ek wil graag my eie sound gehoor het om te hoor hoe klink ek en so en so, maar ek is bevoorig om te sê Devin dankie, tyme eh Ja, hierdie song het ek opgeneem en selfs Kairos Radio in Reewoord speel hierdie song en ek moet vir hulle ook baie dankie sê. So, dankie vir hierdie geleentheid arm uit, dankie dat julle ons een kans gee om ons te expose om vir ons een eie mense te sê, luister, ons kan het doen, ons hoef nie mense te te na aap, soos ons in Afrikaans sê nie, maar ons kan ons eie ding doen, en ons kan sê, luister, dis hoe my sound klink, en dis hoe ek dit voorstel aan ons eie mense. So, ek skryf in my taal, en ek sing in my taal, en ek speel in my taal. So, ek hoop u geniet het. Roep om my Hy sal by jou staan Jy is nooit al leer Al voel het so En kraal Dit kom van boer En dan vlieg Jy weer hoor Doe kom maar Hy sal by jou staan Jy is nooit al leer Al voel dit so Kraal Kom van boer En dan vlieg Jy weer hoor
Well, guys, we are enjoying the Sunday afternoon uh, here at Kala's studio. It is so, so awesome. It's just so sad that all of this has to come to an end. I wish we had some sundowners now. <laughs> I would have loved some water. <laughs> but anyway, we have our next artist. And this man, oh my goodness, he's a teacher. And he's also a bass guitar player. Like I said in our previous episodes, when the bass guitar player always is plucking the strings, <laughs> fans is going mad. But anyway, this person, his name is James Cambrudi, this next artist, and he is the son of the legendary country gospel artist, Mr. Harold Cambrudi. Yes. And he is so talented that, guys, don't go away. This guy has a lot to offer us today, and he is going to do us an introduction to the bass guitar. But before that, I think Zaino has something more to say about James. Yes, I do. It is... Um, <laughs> I met James a few years ago, and I have to say that their whole family yeah. is multi-talented. If I'm, if I'm not uh, corrected, yes. now, yeah. I think James also plays the, the keyboard. He does. Uh, I had the privilege of being in their house one day, and we, uh, we were doing a short recording with uh, Uncle, uh, Uncle Harold, yes. like I call him. Uh, I have to say Honorable Harold Cambrudi now yes. these days. <laughs> yes. Yeah, true. Um, and we just started, you know, they started jamming on the guitar and they, uh, we started uh, playing, you know, Transkarua. Transkarua. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Bring to. So I was doing the vocals. All wow. of a sudden I see James grabbing the, the keyboards and start, yes. uh, starting to play on the keyboard. It sounded amazing. True. I've done a lot of uh, performances with uh, Uncle Harold. Harold, yes. And James has been included in some yeah, of those performances, performances as well. Yes. And I have to say... Top notch. Top notch. Top notch. Like um, Errol says, he is a hot nose kid. <laughs> and I love it. Home to sing and home to spin. Now that is true. <laughs> I could not agree more. That is so true. Multi talented family. And today James is here to uh, give us a little bit more on that introduction on the bass guitar. Here is James Gamburudi. <laughs> You can take my praise away You can take my praise You can take my praise away. Hi, look to the musicians, aspiring musicians My name is James Kambrudi And I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the bass guitar uh, this video is actually aimed or directed at the beginner bass guitar player but I believe that the intermediate level bass guitar player might benefit from the content that I will share in this video. Uh, I've been playing this guitar or this instrument for quite a few seconds now and I've come to realize how important it is for a musician to actually know the different parts and the functions of the various parts of his instrument or her instrument. So without further ado, let me start with the first part. Over here we have the headstock. The tuners and the tuning pegs, tuners, tuning pegs are mounted onto the headstock and the sole function or the primary function of the tuner is to change the tension of the string which in turn, which actually changes the pitch of the string. Now pitch has to do with how high or how low sound is. The higher the tension of the string, the higher the note. Or the, rather, the more tension the string has, the higher the pitch. Okay, so we have the headstock and the tuners with its tuning pegs mounted onto the headstock. And the tuners changes the tension of the string, which in turn, rather, changes the pitch of the string. The next part is known as the nut. The nut can be made from different materials such as brass uh, or bones and the function of the nut is actually to, to space the strings evenly running from the bridge of the guitar through or over the nut onto the, the tuners that, that are mounted onto the headstock. Okay. The next part we have is the neck of the bass guitar. On the front of the bass guitar we have the fingerboard. Okay. 
and on the fingerboard we have metal strips called frets and these frets divide the length of the fingerboard into half step or semitone intervals okay the function of the frets are basically to allow the bass guitar player to change the pitch of the string depending on where he or she chooses to fret the string I think you guys know this bass line is the bass line uh, of Weekend Special, uh, sung and written by Ms. Um, Brenda Fasse. Okay, let me continue. So, the higher I fret the string closer to the body, the higher the pitch will be. So the further I move away from the body, closer to the headstock, the lower the pitch will become. Okay. And this part of the, the bass guitar is known as the body. We have the pickups, the bridge, and the various knobs, or these five knobs, that control the online electronics of the bass guitar. So let me start with the pickups. The pickups basically have magnets, or are magnets, that picks up the vibration of the string, and this vibration is then converted into a signal or voltage that would be rather be amplified later on into the sound that we know or he can hear okay the next part of the body is known or is called the bridge the primary function of the bridge is to safely anchor the strings from the one end of the bass guitar onto the headstock at the other end of the guitar uh, another function of the, uh, the bridge actually, or rather, it actually helps uh, to transfer the vibration onto the body, which then sustains the note and gives us this depth. Part of the bridge, we have other parts known as the saddle. Now, the saddle has a function where it can raise or lower the strings, and this is known as action. Okay, so the cell can, can alter the height of the string and that depends on how the, the musician actually wants to pluck his string or her string. Good. Another function of the cell is to actually shorten or lengthen the string. That, okay, uh, and this is known as intonation. Intonation has got to do with a perfectly tuned string, whether you fret it on the first fret or on the 12th fret, Intonation has to do with the perfect pitch of the string. Doesn't matter where you want to fret your string. And then coming on to these knobs. These knobs control um, the onboard electronics. The onboard electronics has to do with the equalizer. You have the overall or the master volume. This knob. And I have a pan control or a blend. And this is actually to have some balance, or I can choose which pickup I want to use. Then, like many bass guitars, I have a bass knob, or bass control, a knob that controls the mids, or the middle, and the treble. Now, all these knobs, like I said, can control the onboard electronics, and that has got to do with the tone, the overall tone of your instrument. Tone has got to do with the quality, the strength and uh, yeah of your sound okay and that's a wrap thank you for listening to my short introduction to the bass guitar
Dames en heren, ik moet nog maar Afrikaans praat later weet Nicky nie, ek praat van hom nie. Nou hierdie man wat nou vir julle gaan speel, hy is die master. Hy is the master of the lang arm. Nou, hulle sê die Basson broers, daar is die vir hulle nie. Daar is nie meer. Kijk, Reobot het, het, het goeie bands, Elise. Wow, 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 wow. Maar as die Basson broers vir jou gespeel het, daar yeah. by die plaas Breilof. Ja. Yeah. Kom ook praat van Rietoog, yeah. man. Ja, yeah. Dat daar is jy nou tot die Breilof. son uitkom. Dis en moenie dat die twee broers van hom daar <laughs> op die tromme en op die keyboard yeah. is die. Kijk, as speel hulle sommer jou, die soele van jou skoene. Dis so, dis so. Nou, nou ah, ladies and gentlemen, Nicky, he, he plays gospel as well. But he's, I met him and he was, he was a long arm player from the beginning. Yes. And I think that just never leaves you. Yeah. Uh, I had the privilege one night dancing in, in M&K Gertz Hall yeah. while Casey was playing there. Yeah. And all of a sudden I see George Stein yes. and Nicky Basson yeah. playing together with Casey. Yes. You would have said these guys practiced that song, Together, yeah. but it was so good, we couldn't stop dancing. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the night, we ended off with yeah. Casey, Nikki, and George Stein. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me give it over to my colleague before I end off introducing Mr. Nikki to you. Yeah, I will not say that. I will not say that. It is a long arm. I can eat it and look at how many long arm dance. It is one of the best dance. But I am a swag buster, but I can see a long arm dance. But that means that I can not enjoy it. That's so. You can just go to the top. So, do you do it while Nikki is away in ecstasy with a lekker long arm. Hier is Nicky Basson. <laughs> Ek is Nikki Basson van Reewoord geboren in Reewoord, hier groot geword en my muziek lewe hier begint in Reewoord. Ek dink, ek kan onthou van die tyd wat ons, wat ek by St. Joseph was, toe moes ek begin met my muziek. Ek was altyd nog in die kerk baie gespeel en toe het my onderwijser eendag vir ons gesê van vir ek en my broer, ons kan mys aangaan en moet die muziek bedrijf en as ons by sports het ons gespeel en so het ons aangegaan met die ding en toe het ons op hoerskool kom het ons meer aan die muziek belang gestel en daar was een tyd geweest oorlede Connie Klaasen het my pa ons na toe gevat en my vir ons gesê dat ons wil so graag in die bedrijf ingaan, het hy toch vir ons help, en so het ons aangegaan, en ek praat so van 1992, wat my broer met Trik klaargemaak het, toe het ons met die muziek aangegaan, en so het ons aangegaan, later het ons vir Junior Reocombos begint, en 
van junior combos en dat is uh, uh, real combos. Toe gaan ons naar meneer Opperman, meneer Opperman voor ons die naam gegeven van Real Rhythms. En daarvan hebben we die band aangegaan, aangegaan, ons het een mooi tijdje aangegaan. Maar met verloop van tijd doet mijn pa en mijn mala wegvallen, doet ons. Maar op ons eie zo so aangegaan en uh, uh, later het ons in de klap gaan gespeeld en toen Tala. Daar het ons weer een nieuwe naam ontwikkeld, uh, dat was uh, Night. Uh, ik kan niet meer die naam zo lekker onthouden, want ik heb verschillende bands gespeeld. Daar het ons begint met die naam samen en doet ons aangegaan. Laat we gaan jou bek voor Atterklopers bij Night Shift. Gaan jou bek ook weer daar uit, dus mijn broer weer hier bij uh, Goni. Dus speel hij bij daar zo, ja, die is al omkend, maar hij daar aangegaan, dus gaan ik verder. Daar vanaf doe ik. Uh, toen besluit ons broers weer bij elkaar, toen Luki nog groot geworden, toen besluit ons broers, kom ons doen ons eie ding nou, toen begint ons met die uh, uh, Basson brothers, hulle sê uh, die Olbies, en so het ons aangegaan, en achterna het my broer gaan sterven, en toen ons eerst voor een tijdje gaan terugleiden, maar ik voel nou weer, ons kan uh, weer voor en toe gaan, uh, met die muziekbedrijf, maar ik wil een groot dank sê, aan die RMA's, want hij heeft voor mij uh, weer een voering gegeven om dit te kan doen. En ik zeg baie dank je met dit alles. Guys, now that was quite interesting. Lange arm. Hmm. Zeker water. Warm <laughs> <Barm> water. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have to thank each and every one of you that has watched, shared, liked, and spread the word about the Reboot Artists and Musicians Online series. Seriously, Elise, it has been amazing how people has uh, reacted to this uh, series. Amazing, yes. um, from my side, I just want to once again just thank the Namibia uh, National Arts Council for making this possible wow. for our club. We the first to, yes. of its kind in Rio Bot. The Remember first that. of its kind. We are so grateful to the National Arts Council of Namibia for this uh, opportunity that they have given us. We, we really do appreciate that a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, to our viewers, to our uh, all the likes, the people who've joined our group on Facebook, thank you very much. Keep on following us. Um, there is activities coming up from the club side. Yeah, we still have some projects that's in the pipeline, and, and this is not the end. This is not the end. We are. We will. We will be back 
better and bigger. This is just the beginning of big things for this club, I believe. Yes, um, it is. To me, I can not express my uh, my thankfulness and my gratefulness to our artists enough, enough who, who yeah. have uh, participated in all the seven yes. episodes of this series. Yeah. Uh, guys, just thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You you are stars. You are superstars you are. in my eyes. Yeah, and you've done so great. And we, we are so inspired. And I know that a lot of younger artists out there are also very in inspired by what we have shared with them over the period of these seven episodes. And again, guys, this is not the end. This is just the beginning of greater things to come. So watch out for us on social media. Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, to, uh, I just want to reiterate, uh, regarding our young artists out there um, who want to join our club, yes. feel free, join the group on Facebook, uh, just tell us where you are, we'll add you on WhatsApp, all yes. our social media platforms, and we will make it possible for you to be part of this club yeah. as we grow as to greater grow. heights. Yeah, and I don't think not only just for the, for the younger people, but also there is a lot of maybe older people that also has very uh, um, um, what how, how can I say it experienced knowledge throughout the years throughout the years with their art so uh, they are also welcome to contact us and join us singers songwriters and uh, visual arts we want you to join this group like Zaino said we want to go bigger we want to go better and we want to do a lot more than just this online series to all our hosts who have presented over the series, uh, guys, you're amazing. It's not just me and Elise. Uh, yeah. We've we found uh, we've unearthed, you know, yes. talent that we didn't even know we had. Yeah. Me myself, True. I didn't even know I could present. True but that. Um, <laughs> obviously, I've presented three times now, so yeah. it means something. <laughs> so, uh, Elise, it was such a pleasure pleasure uh, presenting with you the two episodes that episodes that we did together. Yeah. Uh, it was just amazing. Yeah, it, and, it is my honor. Uh, well, I don't want Nikki to come and beat me up, but I think there's some <laughs> chemistry there. <laughs> <laughs> but Nikki, no, you're my cousin, man. <laughs> you won't do that to yeah. you. <laughs> so thank you once again, guys. Much appreciated. Just a last word from me. Once again, from uh, uh, a thanks to our sponsor, the Namibian Arts Council. We can't express, express our thankfulness and our gratefulness to you enough. Yes. Thank you for making this possible for real worth musicians and artists. But don't go away. When we come back, we have a surprise for you guys. What? What's coming up? <laughs> you know, we're not perfect, Elise. So sometimes <laughs> we make mistakes. Um, <laughs> even sometimes uh, the... Um, the the producer you know and the director he, he suffers uh, he a lot. struggles a little bit with us who make so many mistakes so yeah. uh, and it's usually so funny that we take a break just to laugh it off you know <laughs> so uh, hold on and uh, he's going to show you a few bloopers that happen yeah because it's not easy sitting in front of a camera and there's no audience and you have to pretend like the audience is all out there so just uh, take a look at our artist <laughs> <laughs> we had some fun times and Mr. Uh, Kalas Audio <laughs> really had some tough times because I said, no guys, not like this, like this. So, uh, um, this bloopers, <laughs> I don't know if I even want to see the mistakes, <laughs> but this is what's, what is actually uh, making it fun yes. to do. <laughs> Thank you, Elise, once again. Thank you. Thank you, viewers. No. Thank you. And hopefully in the near future, we might have a series like this again. Yes. So. Stay and you on might our feature, platforms you and might follow feature. us all yeah. the time. Please do. Thank you. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
van Kalas Audio, um, wat ek vandag van klank weet, en ek doen kan nie my geimpact, <laughs> die hond kan nie stop hier. <laughs> Baie dankie. Ek het nou bykie ge, ek het nou bykie gecrashed daar. So. Ek werk nie stop bestellingse, uh, is dit daar uit soveer? Ek smaal dit nie, ek smaal dit nie, ek smaal dit nie, ek Welcome, welcome. Sing for my song. Zika. Yeah. I would like to introduce myself. I'm your host today, uh, Reoboth uh, Zainotron. Ah, mistake. Kom ons gaan begin maar weer. Kom ons redig hier sê, Reoboth nie. Keyboard, guitar and the drums. Moet ek hier maar oor begin, Ok. Um, in this, um, Kom moet ek nou sê, sorry, sorry. Tent Halbron Dansschule in Germany, a few years later. Ah, kat. Sê moet ek my eers voorstel? Nee. Of kom ek begin eers die song, man, en dan stel ek my voor. Wacht eens, Kalli, my tijd het nou met jy gehaard toch. Wacht eens, Kalli. Wacht eens, wacht eens. Moet jy kan die dynamics het, om kan sacht te speel, maar jy moet die selfde, die, 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 die selfde, kan die breker, kom ons kijk, ek wil net die reboots, arts, musicians, en, reboot musicians, die is so baie kijk, af kijk, ok. Good afternoon all the peoples, I'm extremely happy to be here with you guys today. Yeah, so as promised, our very first artist for today is Mr. Zen... Sorry. <laughs> Southern African saxophone medley arrangement, and I can't wait to hear it. Please enjoy. So did you see So did you it is a time consumers process but ja mo kali wagers ek is daar nou heel af daar vergeet ek my hele goed wat ek wil gesê het Good afternoon and welcome to my act for this episode. I am Kaili Kluta. I am 18 years of age. <laughs> um, when I was grade 3, my dad bought me my first guitar, which was my real, my first real. Uh, 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 uh. And I also want to say thank you to the guy behind the camera. We don't see him at all, but thank you, Kala, Kalis. Kalas, sorry. <laughs> thank you, Kalas. <laughs> can uh, raise the the height or can raise the, the uh, raise, raise the string <laughs> my word 